Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go over the future of this car, fixes, and some upgrades we're gonna do. I also apologize for any wind in advance as it is pretty windy out today. Um, but the first thing we're looking at, if we look right here at the headlights on both sides, we can see that they're both faded. Um, not everything on this list too is gonna be super important, just things that I'd like to have done for the future. So headlights would be the first thing up. Second, we can come right down here to the front bumper. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I would like to get this entire bumper replaced as well as getting a new splitter on as uh, this one here was cracked here and here. So I took it off for now, but that would be a thing to get done in the future. So this whole front end here is gonna get changed. Taking a look at the undercarriage here, we can see it is pretty bent up. It's held in with zip ties. So I wanna get rid of that. And instead I wanna fab up something. I wanna go with a metal undercarriage. Um, so I'm gonna look at my options for that to see what I can do, uh, but I would love to see a metal one underneath here. Now we could take a look at the engine, but I think we're gonna save that for a little bit later. Instead, we're gonna come over here to the driver's side and we're gonna come right down here to the tire. Now, when it was at the Mazda dealership, we got all four tires done as well as an alignment. So we're looking good there. Uh, for the brakes, we're looking at 5.30 seconds up front, and I think it was like 4.30 seconds, 3.30 seconds in the back. So they still got some life left in them. Um, the only main problem up here is that our brake rotors are shifting because they're a bit warped. Uh, so I'd love to actually get them done. Um, it's not on the highest priority, but it would be a cool thing to actually get done and get fixed. Uh, I forgot to mention up here as well, our fog light for our driver's side is out. So that is another thing that we have to get done. Now on the door here, we can see we have a little ding here. Um, we have another here, but I'm not really worried about these two. What I am worried about is down here. Now down here, you can see all along here is pretty pushed in. Um, I don't know how it happened. Uh, the previous owner also doesn't know how it happened. So I'm not too sure. But uh, when it's at the body shop dealing with the rust, I'd eventually want to get this pulled out because I do want to put R3 skirts on both sides. I'd love to get them in a black color. So if we can get those pulled out so we can put those R3 skirts on there, that would be ideal. We actually have a decent bit of rust going on down here. Uh, now, when it was in the Mazda dealership, I was able to take a look at it. Uh, it doesn't look like it hit the frame. So that rust is still repairable and can get fabbed up. Um, so that's good. That saves this car pretty much entirely. This is the only spot where there's really any piercing rust going on. Um, a lot of it in the back I've seen is surface. So it's not as bad as of right now, although I'd love to get it replaced at some point. Um, but for now, the whole back is good. Uh, this part is the major concern. So this is going on a top priority list and this will get done very soon so it doesn't eat any more of it up. So that is on top priority list. Moving on from that, we're gonna look at our rear tire here. Like I said, all the tires here are brand new. Um, brakes in the back are really good. Brake rotors are also really good. Uh, so nothing too much here. Looking at the rest of the driver's side here, we got some paint fade here. Then again, it's 2004 car, so it's kind of expected. Uh, we have a little bit of lining ripped up here. And in the back over here, we also have some lining missing from there. So maybe we can get them repaired at some point, but as of now, it's not too big a deal. Now, if we move on back here, this is the only other place that really has rust on it, uh, which is right underneath the spoiler here and on the other side, right under there. Um, and the reason for this is because when it rains, water drops down and it goes right into this crevice. And so underneath here, uh, there's a bit of paint bubbling, but it's nothing too important right now, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. As far as the taillights goes, I got the gaskets replaced on both sides, because um, when I bought this car, there was water sitting in it. Um, but since I got those taillights replaced, we no longer see that, so we're fixed up on that. Next up for the trunk, uh, right now this trunk doesn't open. Um, the little plastic piece inside of here that holds the metal rod uh, that goes to there is broken. I do have a 3D printer, so maybe I can print the plastic piece inside of here and get it done. Uh, the problem with that is it is PLA and PLA tends to melt in very high temperatures. 
So maybe either I switch to something higher or I look on an auto parts store to see if we can find that little plastic piece that snaps in. Um, and if we can, we'll just replace that and then we'll have access to our trunk again. The back bumper here, there's not really much going on. Um, the only thing is right down here, uh, these clips no longer plug in and the bolts are missing on both sides. I have some random bolts in my toolbox, I think, that I can just bolt them up with. If not, I'm sure I can find something to just put it back on, uh, but they're not too big of a concern, honestly. Moving on to the passenger side of the car, it is definitely the best part of the car. The only thing here is paint missing and a couple dents here, one here and one here. Like I said, when it's at the body shop, we can possibly have them pulled. Um, but other than that, everything else here is looking pretty clean. And now we can finally get to the part you've probably all been waiting for. So underneath the hood is going to be a lot of stuff getting ripped out. So we are ripping out the radiator, the fan shroud, coolant reservoir tank, the battery box, the battery, all the way back to the wiper reservoir. Now, you may be asking, why do we need access to the wiper reservoir? Well, this is getting removed and in its place is going a premix kit and we need access down here because we are throwing a Sony adapter down in there. So that is going to be our first upgrade. The next thing we need access to down here is the solenoid packs as at the Mazda dealership. Uh, that's what we found out was throwing the last check engine light and they are bad. So that is going to get replaced. And so then we can go and put all this back in. Now, as for these, we're gonna be taking this battery box out completely and we are trashing it. As you can see, it's pretty cracked up. Um, the case doesn't fit on anymore and is missing. So we're gonna be getting rid of that. Um, and as you can see right here, our negative battery terminal is cracked right there. So sometimes you go inside the car and you go to turn it on and you hear a click. And then you try it again and you hear a click. And then you come back up here, you jiggle it a little bit, you go back inside of the car and you hear a click. Come back up here again, you jiggle it a little bit more and finally it'll turn over. So to avoid dealing with that anymore, I wanna get that fixed and get that out of there. Now, as far as the coolant reservoir tank goes, we are also getting this one out of here. And the reason being uh, three major problems. One, this one's prone to cracking. Two, the sensor goes bad. Three, we have this hose here, which normally faces down here. Well, if your coolant's ever boiling and it overflows, it pours right onto that connector down there, which is your power steering. So then your power steering is shot and uh, good luck. So we are replacing this with a Bennett built aluminum coolant tank and that will one, erase the cracking. So we won't have that anymore. The sensor is actually replaceable whereas in this one, it's not. And two, we won't have to deal with this problem anymore. The next thing we're gonna be working with is the radiator and fan shroud. We're taking these out. Why? Because we are getting in a Mishimoto radiator and fan kit. Now I have it sitting up in the garage. I still have to wire it together. But other than that, that's gonna be sitting right here in its place and these will be gone. The final issue we have to worry about here is this aftermarket intake. If you watched the previous video, you would know that this is broken. So we are getting that redone. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with yet, but instead of it stopping here, I definitely wanna get one that comes all the way up here into the front bumper. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. So other than that, that's everything we're gonna be taking care of. All this here is going to be brand new and ripped out. The only other thing I did when I first got the car is I replaced these two relays here. As when I got home, they blew out because of course they did. So got them replaced. Uh, these were not cheap, I can tell you that much. As well as I replaced all the fuses in here just so we're safe for the future. So now that we're done everything underneath the hood and on the exterior, we can come in here to the interior. Now, there's nothing too much that needs to be done. The only real stuff is the radio and getting this fixed. Uh, like I said before in the previous video, we're probably going aftermarket. So we're gonna get rid of this whole thing and get this all redone. And then that way we can have our defroster back. We may have sound back. If not, then we gotta look at the stereos. Hopefully it's just this as the issue. Other than that, everything else is actually really good in here. 
We do have a crack dash over there, but so does any other one, honestly. Um, there were leather seats in here before that I ended up replacing. As you can see, we used to have our heated seats here. So we no longer have that, but we do have more comfortable seating. I like this seating a lot more as you don't slide around as much. So for me, it's the better option. The other thing I replaced is the door cards. These were also leather as well as in the back there. So that is all redone as well as over here. Other than that, everything else in this car is looking really good. Uh, the steering wheel, I would love to get done at some point to get this paint fade out of here. Um, but for now, it's a perfectly working steering wheel. I'm not going to bother with it. You can see the Mishimoto radiator and fan kit sh sitting right there as well as some new hoses sitting there. But you may also spot this right here. So when the clutch eventually blows or when I blow it up, we have a brand new clutch kit sitting here. And then in one of these boxes, either this one or that one, uh, we have brand new motor mounts as well for when, uh, for when the, uh, the, the motor eventually implodes on itself. Um, but <clears throat> I don't think it hurt me. But uh, we have brand new motor mounts from Black Halo Racing, and they will be going in. Um, either I'm going to do that myself or when the inevitable happens, uh, we'll be replacing them and that'll get done. The other upgrades we have on the car are a brand new starter or remanufactured starter. We also have a Magnaflow catalytic converter sitting on there and we have a reinforced clutch pedal sitting on there. I'm not sure if it's this one, this is the stock one here. I don't think it's this one. It might be on the other one for the parts car, but um, there's a joint, this joint here, here ish somewhere, um, right there likes to snap. So with the reinforced one, what they did was they went in and they actually weld right up there to keep this from snapping. Other than that, that should be everything done on the car for now. Um, let me know if any other upgrades, uh, if you have any suggestions for an aftermarket air intake that I can get for the future. Um, if you have any, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see in the car, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. I was talking about fixing the bumper there on those pieces. Well, I have just a little bit of, a little bit of bolts, so, which is actually not a lot. When I used to work for Mazda, uh, a couple of senior techs there had buckets of just random bolts sitting in there. Uh, so this definitely isn't a lot, but I can probably find something here uh, that I can replace my replace those bolts with. So we can definitely get that done. Um, but other than that, that's everything that's being done to the car for now. Oh, actually, in the future, be on the lookout for some new wheels. That's all I'm going to say. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.